Hi and welcome to the second tutorial in the series for the Horizon SDK. I'm Maarten, the lead developer and CEO at Horizon. And in this tutorial, I will explain how to set up our SDK in Unity and link it to ARKit. I will explain how to add our SDK to an existing augmented reality app and show you how to start from scratch as well. Uh, the things you'll need are an ARKit capable phone, so the iPhone 6S or above, and this includes the SE. And you'll need a Mac to be able to build to the phone, Unity, and of course, ARKit and the Horizon SDKs. Uh, but I will show you where to find these in a sec. Let's dive in. So you'll need a couple of things. Let's get the Horizon SDK first. You can get it by going to our website, go to the developer section. And there's a download link. And here there are two links, actually, um, the Horizon SDK uh, itself or an entire sample project. Um, I'll show you how to start from scratch, so I'll use this one. The sample project already includes uh, sample scenes for ARKit, Fuforia, um, but we'll use this one. We'll need to create a new uh, Unity project. Um, open it with this version. Okay, in the meantime, let's grab AR Kit. You can get it from the asset store, but also from um, a Bitbucket. Oh, AR Kit. Unity bit bucket. There it is. I like this version because it's more up to date than the one in the asset store. Um, the only thing, it's not a Unity package. It's an entire project as well, so uh, downloads. You just need to copy this in there. Um, first, let me change the build settings. Okay, now we can import. Oh import the ARKit plugin and we can import the Horizon SDK yeah I've imported this model as well it's a 3D model, which I found on Sketchfab. And what we'll do is um, we make we will make an ARKit app, um, which will scan for surfaces. And once we tap on the surface, this model will appear there. And you can start by using this Unity ARKit scene which already has a lot of the components. And I like to just grab, grab all of this, put it in a new scene, delete these. It's basically the same as just duplicating the scene. Don't save. And this scene already has uh, quite a lot. Um, it has the surface uh, scanning for surfaces and also uh, once you tap on the surface this little cube will appear but we don't want a cube we don't, we want this this fellow over here so let's drag it in there he is um there's an animated controller as well so he can move a little and 
the only thing you'll need to do is drag this onto here and then you can delete this one and the other cube that's the random cube you can just leave in there this that's more for testing this will be in here always um, as soon as you start the app you will see it and once you start moving around before any surfaces have been detected now this is already a complete um, application so you can already run this on your phone um, there's a couple of things we need to do first is we need to say we want to build this scene not the sample scene so delete this uh, and also we need to go to the player settings into other settings and add a camera usage description like um, camera access is required and hope only only used for AR okay now we can build okay it's finished building now we can open the Xcode project and run to the phone Okay, so that's it. That's it, it's scanning for surfaces. We can tap on the surface and then this fella appears. Hey there. Now we will add the Horizon SDK. So if you have an existing augmented reality app, you can start from here. Um, just make sure you have the Horizon SDK downloaded from our website and the only thing you need to do is drag this in and say um, you need to fill this in so select the tracking engine you use in your scene that's ARKit and ARKit what it does when it's uh, when it's tracking it applies a transform um, of the camera uh, in, the, in the real world to this object so um, to be able to do the stereoscopic rendering in the uh, um, same location we need to tell the Horizon SDK that we want to follow this object by dragging this in here and saying we want to follow ARKit if we have others you can um, Add it in here as well and then you can switch between them but for now we use ARKit and you'll notice it created some events here and that's on start horizon mode it disables the camera of ARKit because we don't want to see the background image or the camera feed when we are in horizon mode so um, that solves this, that issue but now we want to start and stop the horizon mode as well and for that we need to create a new button so let's do that UI button drag it down a little like so and then say start horizon and then this button should reference the uh, horizon object and the horizon tracking component on there has a start start horizon mode function 
And what we also want to do is when we start the horizon mode, we want to hide this button. And we can do that with these events. Uh, so let's just disable the canvas. Game object set active false. Um, and when we stop the horizon mode, it should reappear. So set active true. And now we can test this out. If we run this without disabling this object, we get a lot of errors. So I'm disabling that. But this will show you what will happen with when we hit this button. So now um, the horizon prefab takes over. And this button is the back button which links to the horizon tracking component on the horizon object saying stop horizon mode and then we're back and start and stop okay and what we can also do is simulate phone rotation by hitting the landscape button here and this will show you the stereoscopic mode now let's build this to the phone Okay, it's done. Oh, the button is really tiny, but it should work. Okay, this is the same as you saw a minute ago. There he is. And we can say now start horizon <laughs> yeah there we are okay and then we can rotate the phone to landscape and you'll see it's all there in stereoscopic modes okay and you can go back as well there we are again hi there no. turning us back towards us a bit shy maybe so now you know how to implement the horizon sdk in an ar kit project and i hope you find this interesting and helpful and if you have any questions i would like to ask you to uh, put them on the forum which is uh, developer.horizon.com and i will answer them as soon as possible um, so thanks for watching and see you next time bye